Niger, of course, was also represented at the FOCAC summit. China is the first foreign investor in the country and its second largest trading partner. China has funded about 30 or so infrastructure projects over there. That includes everything from sports facilities, housing developments, to even hospitals. The relationship between the two countries spans Chinese government assistance, investment cooperation, and infrastructure development. Uh, it's China that is behind the oil project that is currently underway in the country. It's still China that is behind one of the largest power plants in the country. For our fragile economies that need direct investment, we cannot have better, especially since these investments are also based on long-term repayment mechanisms. The repayment deadlines are flexible enough for our economies and the capitalist states that can never grant us that. I say today, the best approach for Africa is China. The rise of China in Niger can be explained by the fact that China is involved in key sectors such as mining and infrastructure. These are the areas in which Africa is still in pristine state and there are huge investments that are needed.